Dear friend, did you know that the totality of all the angels in heaven are categorized under nine major divisions known as the celestial choir? And so we have the celestial choir of seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, powers, virtues, principalities, archangels, and angels, nine in number. It is from there we derive the popular nine lessons and carol, which we normally do at Christmas season. Did you know that the apostles waited in the upper room before the coming of the Holy Spirit, before the Pentecost Sunday, they waited in prayer for nine days in unbroken succession at the command of the Lord after the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is from there that we have what we now enjoy as Novena. From the Latin word Novem, which means nine. Novena means nine consecutive days of praying in unbroken succession for a particular intention or in preparation for an occasion. Did you know also that on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came around nine o'clock in the morning, as of Apostle chapter 2, verse 15, and bestowed on them seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, but then nine charismatic gifts, the nine gifts which we know as the charismata mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, under normal circumstances, human beings must spend nine months in the womb before coming into this world. Have you ever wondered why? The number nine is a very mystical number, is very unique and stands out even among the numerals that we have. It is the last of the digits. The number nine is considered as a number that signifies finality, as well as the conclusion of a matter. Now, you know that God communicates mysteries using signs, symbols, and figures, and mystical events. As we have begun the month of September, place your right hand on your chest and declare with me, I shall not die, I shall live, and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Jesus our Lord says in John chapter 14 verse 19, Because I live, you shall live. In his name I declare, you shall live, you shall not die. The month of September shall favor you unconditionally and you shall walk under the grace of God. And Psalm 23 says, goodness and mercy shall follow me. May this goodness and mercy follow you, follow your family, follow your people, follow every single project that you embark on. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen. The Lord be with you. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord turn his merciful gaze on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. And may the Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Osalgog.